Okay, people, this is Magnus and his strawberry and black pepper gin and tonic. How did, you, did, you, did you put some black pepper into it? Yeah. Oh. But it's ground, it's, it's not, it's grounded. Yeah. So? So, so and In today's episode, how do you do in Tobabes? It's raining, it's raining, it's really, really raining. And what you do when it's rain and you have a balcony that you'll be using for the first time in a, about a year, you do this. You clean because the suds won't annoy the neighbors downstairs and uh, the rain will sort of help me with the cleaning. So people? It's so much cleaner now. Ah, I love those heavy summer rains. It's two o'clock, quarter past two. I've been sort of not doing much of anything. Well, cleaning up, but not sort of, it doesn't look like, oh, wow, someone's really been cleaning here. No, it doesn't look like that. It looks like, hmm, someone should be cleaning here. Anyway, I'm going to go out <laughs> because I need to clean. Uh, I'm going to go out and buy some groceries because I need to start cooking. I've been sort of eating junk food. Not really junk food, but sort of like just pasta and pesto and stuff like that. And uh, I, ne I need to get back on the gourmet track. So join me as I go out into... Well, the sun is shining now. It could be that it will continue shining or we might be in for more rain. Yeah so I'm not wearing anything protective. So people remember that sun? Yeah, keep it in your memory because it's gone, gone, gone. By the way, I'm wearing shorts for the very first time this year. No, cutoffs for the very first time this year. Quite long cutoffs. They end below the knee. And um, my skin is as white as paper, no. I would have loved to have skin as white as alabaster, but my skin tone, when I haven't got any sun, is like a sexy sort of beige. Yeah, imagine that. People, here comes the rain again, falling on my head like a ton of bricks. So I'm about to go in here and into this second-hand shop, and then I saw this plate, asparagus plate. It's kind of nice, isn't it? So this recipe is the first I've made from this. I made it about a week ago and then I made it three times more because I loved it. Today I'm going to get my ingredients for this and oh no, not that. This is cauliflower burger and I'm, I'm through making my own burgers. Yeah. So, oh, no, wait. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm not sure what I, why? Damn it. Because I am making this fried dumplings with ponzu mayo. Ponzu is some sort of, I don't know, some soy sauce with lemons in it? Not sure. You know what the sad part is? They do not have any vegan dumplings. Damn it. So I need to find a new recipe. Mm, yeah, I enjoy reading. It's a good magazine. Oh, pie? Yes, people, let's go big. Let's make a pie. Okay, people, I just saw this is for six to eight portions of people. So, uh, yeah, I'll be eating pie. And people, now suddenly I found dumplings. Damn it. Okay, people, this is what 800 Swedish crowns looks like. Looks like I've missed the rain. It's 10 minutes past five, so that means FaceTiming Magnus for a gin and tonic. I am having one of those. He's making strawberry and pink black pepper gin and tonic. So, uh, yes, because he's got fresh strawberries at home. From my sister. From his sister. Yeah, they left it. They, they borrowed my apartment. And I have absolutely nothing, so I had to resort to this. 
So people, this is what I hear while I'm drinking mine, because mine is so much easier to do. But good. Oh. Oh. So he's muddling the strawberries. Oh, this was good. Okay, people, this is Magnus and his strawberry and black pepper gin and tonic. How did you, did you put some black pepper into it? Yeah. Oh. But it's ground. It's it's not. It's grounded. Yeah. So. So and and mixed with and muddled with the strawberries. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Oh, really good. It was. Oh, it was yes. Okay, so this is one for the. This is a keeper, people. Definitely. The only thing is. The only thing is that that it sort of gets to be quite on the surface the the strawberry strawberry fruit yeah. yeah so it gets a little bit chewy but it was i mean this is a perfect summer drink because it's very fresh and you you get the the strawberry thing and going on like a, a madman <laughs> maybe if you had a straw yeah but then the oh yeah but then it will be on the in the bottom yeah, and you haven't got any. You you haven't got anything in the bottom. People, Magnus is now looking for a straw to put in. It. Oh, he's got a straw already. Was it better? Bamboo. Bamboo straw. Was it better? He's quiet. He's thinking. What do I think? Yeah, it, you sort of you don't get so much of the. But the thing is that it feels kind of wrong to, to to drink a gin and tonic with a straw. Yeah, put it away. It feels, yeah. Yeah. You sort of want to have the glass. Yeah. Taste taste of glass <laughs> in your nose. Okay, so this is strawberry and black pepper gin and tonic. It's a definite keeper then. Okay, I, I might have to. What? Yeah, I have to um, write it up. I have down. to uh, copy it and put it in my notepad so it is a keeper. Good. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am sitting here trying to get some information. We are going to go uh, work on a concert in Telberry. No, not Telberry. Oh, God. The other place. Well, this weekend, Saturday. So on Friday, we're going to uh, go gonna go by car me, David, Christian and Maria and uh, check into a hotel in the north of Sweden, th three hours away from Stockholm. So sitting here trying to sort of put together some sort of trip that would be nice. We're leaving at about 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So we're going to eat lunch somewhere on the road. That's what I'm doing. Now I will be calling Mal uh, Magnus because we talked about maybe having one more gin and tonic. So people, here I am again with Magnus drinking another glass of gin and also talking about having a gin tasting at Hannah Gin and Bar. But also another day... We, we thought about doing this the same day. Go to Halvilska Muse Museum because there's a Lego exhibition that someone is quite interested in. So people, I'm here to confirm that tomorrow we are going on a gin testing. At five o'clock? Yes. Five to seven. We're having five, from five in the afternoon to seven in the afternoon. We're having a gin testing. So I need to dress smart, Claire. Nice, Claire. Oh no. So people, we are going to try, first we're going to try one cocktail and then we're going to get to try four. Is it four? Different kind of gin? S something like that. Yeah, something like that. And afterwards, we might take a signature cocktail in their bar. These sound fantastical. These are sort of gin-based nude sort of things that may contain lactose and may contain eggs so some of them i won't touch but some of them 
I will definitely try to touch. So please join us tomorrow. Well, you can keep watching now, but tomorrow at five o'clock, we will be tasting gin like there's no tomorrow. Well, it, but, but tomorrow. <laughs> so people, it's time to say goodbye to Magnus. He did something strange. Uh, we are still on gin. Well, it's over now. It's over and is done it, with. This is just uh, the ice. Oh, the ice. So say goodbye, Magnus. Goodbye. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.